Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're going to study multiplying decimals by decimals. Now, for starters, I have a decimal multiplication here, 0 0.1 times 40. Remember that decimal is read as one tenth. And the basic idea here is that when we are multiplying a decimal times something, we think of the multiplication as of, okay? One-tenth of 40, that's what it means. And what's one-tenth part of 40? It's 4. Here again, we have eight-tenths of 40. And since we already solved what's one-tenth of 40, one-tenth part of 40 is 4, then eight-tenths of 40 would be eight times that result, right? So it's 32. I can use the same idea here. This is one-hundredth. And then this translates into of. So one hundredth part of two hundred. You just divide two hundred by hundred and get two. And then here we have fifty-six hundredths of two hundred. Fifty-six hundredth parts of two hundred. So I go fifty-six times two because one hundredth part was this much, okay? So that is one hundred and twelve. Another important concept I want to show you is scaling. And I'm going to use a stick as an example, scaling a stick. Let's say, for example, I have three times and then a length of a stick, 20 centimeters. So obviously the stick will get longer, three times as long as it was before, 60 centimeters long. But what if I have a decimal number here? I multiplied 0 0.3 times 20 centimeters. Think of the of again. Think of this as three tenths of 20. Okay? And I can think through the one tenth. One tenth part of 20 centimeters is two centimeters, right? So three tenths is three times as much, three times two. So it is six centimeters. And notice the stick got shorter, way shorter. It used to be 20 centimeters, it got shorter, just six centimeters. If you multiply by a number that is less than one, and you're thinking of scaling, then your thing will get shorter or smaller. The same thing will happen here. We are multiplying it by 7 tenths. 7 tenths of 20 centimeters will be less than 20 centimeters. Again, I can think of the tenth part. 1 tenth of 20 is 2 centimeters, so 7 tenths is 7 times 2, or 14 centimeters. Let's do a few more of these. Let's say you have 5 tenths of 30 centimeters. Okay? Now it just so happens 5 tenths is exactly half, right? So this is half of 30 centimeters or 15 centimeters. There. And then here, 0 0.6 or 6 tenths times 20 centimeters. Again, 1 tenth of this was 2 centimeters, so 6 tenths is 6 times 2 centimeters, 12. And lastly, 8 tenths of 10 centimeters. Think of 1 tenth. One tenth of this would be just one centimeter, so eight tenths is eight centimeters. There. 